Hi, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today I'm going to be cooking pork country style ribs on my custom built insulated vertical smoker. If you'd like to see how I built the smoker, there's a link in the description to the build videos playlist. Okay, time to fill up the charcoal basket with charcoal and wood chunks. And as always, for the wood chunks, I'll be using hickory. When it comes to country style pork ribs, there are a couple different options available. You can get loin end, which comes from the portion nearest the rear of the pig, or butt end, which strangely enough comes from the shoulder of the pig. Okay, I'll get this closed up and let it heat up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. While the smoker is heating up, I'll prepare the ribs. All you really need to do to this meat is season it. There's no need for base or glazes unless you really want to. Of course, I'll be using my own blend of seasoning, Uncle Tim's T13, and I'll apply it liberally to all sides of the meat and let that sit until the smoker is ready. Okay, the smoker's reached 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's get the ribs in there. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking bone-in butt-end ribs. I prefer the shoulder cut as it is the darker meat and the meat has more flavor and is moister when it's all said and done. And that's because of the inter more intermuscular fat. Okay, the ribs have reached an internal temperature of 195 degrees Fahrenheit, and they're ready to come off the smoker. And you'll notice I threw some beans in there, and they're ready as well. All right, it is finally time to give these a taste. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh man, that is good. Whew. Nice smokiness, nice and tender, juicy, tons of flavor. Man, that is fantastic. Next time you have some friends over, grab yourself some country style ribs, throw them in the smoker or on the grill and your friends, well, you might not be able to get rid of them. So maybe that isn't such a good idea. Well, thanks for joining me on the farm today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you'll be sure to catch my next savory cook. See you later. Mm, you gotta try these.